Hi, year two. Welcome to session three of our non-fiction uh, writing for this week. And it's one of my favourite sections. Uh, one of my favourite sessions. And I'll tell you why. It's because we can watch some videos. So, and I, I happen to love these videos. These videos are all about different African animals as well. So, let's get going. We are going to be learning either about an elephant, a giraffe or a hippo. You're going to learn about what they eat where they live and what their babies are like. Okay, now you can, I, what I'd like you to do is choose one of the animals that you want to learn more about. So you might want to learn more about the elephant, you might want to learn more about the giraffe, or you might want to learn about the hippos. But if I was you, I would watch all three videos first time and then decide which one you're going to um, do your research on. Okay, so watch all three videos, but then just choose one to watch the video for a second time. So this is the sheet that you're going to have to do. Here are the links, as you can see, but you can click on the links from the blended learning plan. Okay, choose which one you want to watch. Watch it at least twice so you get lot so you have lots of time to make the notes, okay? But I so say you might want to watch all of them the first time through. Now, remember when we're when we're making notes, we don't write whole sentences, we're just writing a few odd words just to help us remind, or just to help remind ourselves as to what happened in that video. I have chosen to do the giraffe. So at the top of my page, I'm gonna write the giraffe. And so I'm gonna write the giraffe, giraffe. So that's the animal that I've chosen to do, okay. Not sure about the general facts at the moment, but I do happen to know that one of the facts that I'm, I'm gonna put down is that they live in the African plain. They live on the African, African plain. Oh, I know what else I could put. There's something I know about um, African, about giraffes, sorry. I happen to know that in their necks, they have seven vertebrae. So I'm gonna put necks, neck has, Seven vertebrae. Okay. Vertebrae. And I'm going to put a little note to myself as well because actually humans also have seven vertebrae in their neck as well. Uh, so I'm going to say humans also have seven. Just in case you don't know what the vertebrae are, the vertebrae are the neck bones. So we have seven bones in our neck and a giraffe also has seven bones in its neck. But the giraffe's ones you'll see on the video link are really, really big, whereas ours are quite small. Okay, so I've put two general facts down. You might want to put a few more though. You can have three or four. And the more you put down, the more you can choose when you're actually doing your writing. So the habitat is where they live. Oops, I think Miss Richardson made marvellous mistake and actually I didn't look at it properly. Actually, I need to put that on there. So I might put an arrow over there because I've made a mistake. So they actually live on the African plain. Put that in the wrong place. But never mind, we all make marvellous mistakes. So where do they live? They live on the African plain and they also live in the grasslands. They Oh, I know where they do live. They live near water as well. They live near, oops, that's not how we spell this. Live near water. They live near water. Okay, and I'm also going to put they live in the grasslands. They live in grasslands. Grasslands. Okay, I'm going to go full stop as well. What do they eat? Well, they eat the leaves on the top of the trees that the other animals can't reach. So I'm just going to put leaves at the tops of the trees. And about their young, well, I did learn an interesting fact that their young grow, and I think it was two inches a week. Maybe it was an inch. Maybe I've misremembered that. So I'm going. But I'm going to put they grow at one 
inch per week. Okay, so I've put one idea down for each of my sections, but I would like you to put at least two down, possibly three or four, because then when you come to write up your ideas, then actually you'll have more to work with and you'll be able to put more sentences onto your um, fact file. Okay, so having a look at our success criteria, watch the video clips, watch them all if you want to, or just watch one of them, but watch it through once, and then watch it through a second time, and you can record your interesting facts watching it through the second time. You might even want to watch it a third or fourth time. In class, we're going to share ideas with class, and we're going to write, but you, at home, you definitely need to write them under the correct heading, which is not what Miss Richardson did. Okay, good luck, everyone. Have fun.